like I had a special race in me today, so I just went out in front, I said catch me if you can. Six of your finest athletes, two swimmers, two ski paddlers, two board paddlers, and just a whole bunch of heart. You know, all the boys get down here and want to win the tapling. You race with your mates, you race for your club, and there's a whole bunch of pride. You're all your mates. You get to the finish line, you get up out of the water, ankle deep, knee deep, and all you can hear is, ah! All you gotta do is run 100 metres. You've got 100 metres left, and it's everything you've got. <laughs> Yeah, this one you start to get a bit nervous. You get nervous for the blokes and, um, yeah, one you want to win, but... This is the one and only. This is the cauldron. Look at it. All the people, the whole beach stop. It's the open tapland final at the Australian titles. This is what your club's about, your mates are about, the strength of... Surf life saving, I suppose. Everyone gets down here and froths. And two swimmers, two board, two skis. Grown men go berserk. It's the kind of race you got to just you die for your team in. That's the when you tag the next guy, you got to be spent and collapse on the ground. That's the event. Exciting race, mate. We've just we were up up the front second, then we dropped back, and our second paddler just had an amazing paddler. Now we're back in the mix for a hopefully a silver medal. Really feeling for them boys on the board. Just get the job done. It was great, you know. Another uh, another tap win is pretty special. You can be a good board paddler, ski paddler, or swimmer, but if you've got a bit of both in you, you start to think oh, maybe I could have a crack at the Ironman. No, no, no. But then you get the courage to have a crack at it. You know, some people get that courage to have a go at it, and um, and then way down the end of that dream is the Aussie Ironman title because it's takes all those rounds to get to it. Everyone's after it, the waves are trying to get you everything else and then you've got to nail a 12 to 15 minute race right at the finish of the day. It's an amazing challenge, it really is an Ironman race. I think the Australian title is way and above the others. The Australian Ironman title would be the pinnacle to win because there hasn't been, you know, the last 10 years, there's only been a few winners. You know, Shannon's only won it, you know, he's won the last few and, and Zane's won a lot and Hursty's won like six or seven or something ridiculous like that. So it just shows you how hard it is to win. It's not luck, it's not anything like that. It's just the guys that are able to get up for a race like that after such a long year. You've got to be able to stand up, not for yourself, but for your club as well. You know, that's the good thing about the Australian titles. It doesn't matter who you are, you can, you can race each other and put a foot on the line and anyone can win. About ten or nine or ten guys going for that wave and if we can have a sprint finish with nine guys it's gonna be all time. I, I didn't know what I was doing there, right? I was like, why am I in front here? I shouldn't be in front, like, just so lucky. Just watch spectating the whole race, and that last wave was insane. You're one of the sport's best board paddlers. You jumped on, and you couldn't rule you out. When you came down that wave at the end, we were all just standing there going, Cam Cole is going to win the biggest event in the history of the sport. How do you feel? Is this just... I, I don't feel like I deserve to get put beside the names that have won it. Like, I don't think I'm up there, and I'm still not, but this... I'm pretty much the luckiest guy in the last, say, 30 years in this race, so I just can't believe it. <laughs> the man. The man. The man. The man.